Hey TikTok, this video today, man, when water hits my hair, it is a wrap. This thing frizz up, strength up, Lord have mercy. <laughs> but I want to talk about getting lost in trucking. <sighs> Come on, y'all. Let's go inside. This is where I'm at. Yep, good old truck stops. A truck driver's home away from home. Ain't that something? Oh, it's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna get that and the string beans. I'm trying to get away from their fried food. This is all the stuff that kill us truck drivers out here, bro. They got stuff like this, but sometimes I don't really believe that they're genuinely real for real. Chips, ice cream. Snickers be getting me, man. Look. All the truck drivers. Heart attack. Heart attack. Heart attack. Heart attack. More heart attack. Heart attack. <laughs> Especially heart attack. I had to stop drinking these. I ain't had no problems. But putting all this stuff in your body over time. Yeah, you'll have a weak heart. That's not good. What I normally get, I normally stick to these friends. I like the pink one. I'm gonna get two of these. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's do two. They normally have this section too. Man, you think you're doing good with these? Look how many calories is in that mug, bro. The salads ain't too bad. But this shit right here normally be like 800 calories. These wraps is some bullshit. You think you're doing good, but you're not. Yep. Yay, Lord. Yeah, this will bust your heart open too. Surely will. A lot of these places you come to, some of these places that say, there you go. Some of these places to say that certain restaurants are open, but when you get inside, it's a whole nother story. So, let's talk about it. Getting lost in trucking, where can I begin? <laughs> a lot of times people, they have their own reasons why they get their CDL. Your reasons could be because you might have never traveled outside of your state. So, you got certain states you want to mark off your bucket list. Maybe you never made more than a minimum wage. So you looking at this as a way out of your financial restraints. Or maybe you generally had a passion to want to drive a big rig to do something that you never done before. Or maybe it's a family tradition to where it's been passed down from your mom or your dad or your uncles, your aunties, whoever passed it down to you. There is tons and tons of reasons. But the question you gotta ask yourself, how much of my life am I gonna give to this industry? Because before you know it, five years pass, and all you done was drive and never home. Ain't got no girlfriend, boyfriend, your kids hate your fucking guts. Or 10 years pass, and before you know it, you lost everything. So don't get lost. <laughs> it's easy. As much time as we spend doing our jobs, time can go by, especially as you get enough time to where time goes by without you even trying. That's with anything. Wait a minute, guys, let me get in my truck. Now, some people, let me make sure my Bluetooth is not on. Cool. Some people it's okay to die doing this and then some people have an exit plan some people might give themselves 10 years like you know what i'm only gonna do this for three three years i'm only gonna do this for five years i'm only gonna do this for 10 years and i'm gonna use trucking as a stepping stone to either get into real estate to even uh do some other kind of venture but sometimes a lot of times Plans don't always go as planned. 
And sometimes situations happen to where you wanted to get out of trucking, but sometimes trucking end up being the where it's all you know. Trucking is it's so easy to get quick money once you get your experience and you know the game and this and that. That it, it really can trap you. It really can trap you. So you really got to have discipline, mental discipline, and really have a plan to, and stick with it. <laughs> don't deviate if, if it's a good plan and if it works and you don't have to change it. Like for me, I've, I've got lost in trucking a lot. I've got lost in trucking. I've lost a lot of time. I mean, I've learned how to manage my work life with my family life to where it all works out. Like my kids don't hate me. My kids actually applaud me for the sacrifices that I make just to provide and take care of them. But y'all already know this, my relationship life, bruh, my relationship life definitely took a hit. My, my relationship life wasn't as bad as it is when I got in the trucking. When I got in the trucking, it really, really took a hit. Because nobody wants to date somebody that's rarely home. And then as a female, nobody wants to date somebody that most likely make more than them, make the same as them, or do a man. I don't know. I've got judged on so many levels for what I do that it's sad. And then a lot. sometimes it takes a hit on your personal way of being. Like, I, I mean, I still, I'm still trying to figure out how to maintain being fully girly out here but when you are really grinding and and beating this roll up beating it down keeping on wheels in between the white line to me i'm not going to say I, i'm gonna look real bad but my looks is really on the back burn i'm just trying to get this load did get this money turn this load do this and do that i mean shit, ain't like i got a boyfriend anyway so who Am I out here to press? I ain't trying to press none of these dudes out here for sure. Even, even though it doesn't work. Some of these guys or people, some people be so lonely that they'll, they'll, they'll mess around and mess with a damn fly if they could. If they could. Cause that's, you know, people ain't got no life out here. It is what it is. Like I said, and I made a video in my Instagram group. You have to learn to take the wins with the losses. Everything is not going to always be peaches and cream. And just as much as you can get lost in trucking, sometimes it's not even about the physical loss. You can get mentally lost. You know how much trucking can play with your mind? Trucking is not for the weak mentally because this whole truck, a jail, a jail cell is bigger than this. We spend 90% of our time alone unless you got a teen wife, a teen partner, friend, whatever, or you go home every day or you read, I don't know, but a true OTR truck driver, this is us most of the time. We rarely get to talk to people like that. That's why if you see most people that's out here getting it, they want to talk your head off because this is all they get most of the time. And sometimes it can mess people up to where it give them serious depression, it give them serious anxiety, social anxiety. Or it make people to where when they do socialize, they over socialize because they're not getting enough socialization. So trucking is not something that you take lightly because first of all, this is a dangerous machinery. You got a weapon on wheels that can kill you, my family, your family, everybody else's family. And second of all, mentally, you got to know how to navigate doing this job. Because it comes with a lot of dangers. It comes with a lot of loneliness. It comes with a lot of sacrifice. So always try to stay on top of your reflection. Reflect on yourself and see where you are mentally. If you need some mental help, don't be afraid to get a counselor. Some, of the, some jobs offer it. If you're physically losing yourself, reflect. Pull back. Like, I have to pull back sometimes. Like, yo, let me get my shit together, bro. I can't be out here looking this fucking raggedy. <laughs> But it is what it is. Trucking is not for the weak. It's only for the strong and only the strong will survive. So you guys have a blessed day. I hope that shed light on truckers. Don't get lost because it's so easy to get lost in this industry. Come back. Come back to the light. Come back to the light.